Hey, so today is gonna be a great day. And it's gonna be a great day because we get to unbox the Ryobi One Plus heat gun. Now the model number for this is P3150. It is brand new. It came out. Uh, it just came out. And uh, and yes. So we are gonna unbox this bad boy. Uh, one thing I wanted to announce first. Uh, we are doing good when it comes to the big raffle giveaway of a $350 gift card uh, to Home Depot. And if you just so happen to live in a different country, we will. I will. Uh, Coordinate it to where the $300, $350 gift card will be at a store that's in your country, or it would be, uh, I'll, we'll figure that out. But we are at $247 out of the $350 giveaway. So we're doing good. We're almost there. So thank you for uh, subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos and plenty of videos to come for the next couple of years. So we're good on that part. But Let's get to unboxing this. All right, so here is just the, pretty much the box. Uh, it is a standard box, you know, just like you would get with any other tool, the drill or whatnot. Uh, but this is roughly the same size. Now it's a little smaller, it's a little smaller than this drill. I do not know what model number this drill is, but uh, the brushless, uh, the brushless regular drill. It's a, it's a little bit bigger uh, than, than uh, than the heat gun is, so that's good comparison. So we are gonna unbox this very nicely. We got a little piece of tape right there. All right there we go. Look at that, that thing all, look how gorgeous that is. All right, so besides uh, the attachment, the uh, extra accessory attachments come right here. We'll explore that in, in a minute. Uh, besides those two items, the box comes with the instructions and I'm pretty sure the warranty's inside. This, these will go into the instruction bag. So that's the empty, of, that's it in the box. So we are, all right, so here we have two attachments, I believe, it looked like it. Yes, we have, first we have the directional attachment, which all this does is narrow where the heat goes if you want to concentrate it in a spot. We get that, I do not know if it's in focus. There we go, that is the that is the one attachment. And so then the second attachment is, is this. Now this one is, uh, I, I think this one is a stopper to where the heat will hit this wall right here and it'll heat up whatever's inside. Like this is for wiring or doing small, uh, long things that you don't need blasting past your, uh, past your heat area so yeah that wall is a nice attachment to have so you have uh, so you don't have to worry about blasting heat and stuff on an area where you don't want it to be uh, hit by heat so yes yeah, so those are two very good attachments right there I, I like that that it comes with that I like those all right now then the device itself Look at this, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Of course it comes with a tag right here. Look at that, that's, that's actually, that's not that heavy. That is not that heavy. Which is, I thought this would be a little top heavy, 
These are the, just the stuff that's in the inside, but it's actually not. So, but that is a gorgeous piece of, <coughs> that is a gorgeous tool. This uh, really is a gorgeous tool. Now let's do a size comparison. Of course, the drill is uh, significantly heavier, heavier than this, but the size comparison is, uh, is that. If you want to compare it to uh, a certain drill size, so yeah, it's the drill is a little bit longer when it comes to the chuck, but uh, the, the this is significantly lighter though, very very much very lighter than than the drill is. So yes, that is the uh, so if you want to give a size comparison, the best tool is this brushless drill without the chuck. That's what that's pretty much what it is. When it comes to the design, and be, so it's uh, just take the chuck out, and then they're pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same thing. So, so yeah. So it's good. I like it. The now the mold is a little bit darker. The mold is a tiny bit darker. If you, I, if you can't tell, it's a tiny. It's a shade darker than the drill is. But yeah, it's good. I, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. So, yeah, the, this design is, this design is amazing. It is beautiful. That is beautiful. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do put this through a couple of tests to see on how hot this gets and how fast. So let's do. Uh, we are going to use a six amp hour battery for this test. Now, someone already uploaded a video where they use a three amp hour battery. They, they uh, that video said it uh, runs for approximately nine minutes. So we're gonna do a six amp hour battery and see what this see what this can do. So let's get this. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh yeah, I'll admit this is a little bottom heavy, but uh, the top is not heavy, so it's not too awkward. And the the heat gun is not really designed for it to be. Any heat gun is not designed for it to be ran for a long period of time. Any heat gun, if you run it for too long, it will burn out a lot sooner than it would if you used it here and there. So if you ran if you ran any heat gun for like an hour or two, trust me, that heat gun will fry out a lot sooner than it should. So yeah, will this be able to run for a long time, long periods on end if you keep changing the batteries? Yes. But just like any other heat gun out there, no matter what brand, I do not recommend that because the heat gun, obviously, it creates a tre tremendous amount of heat. And you will fry out the heat gun for any brand, uh, regardless, no matter what it is. So let's do a couple of tests, shall we? All right, so you cannot, this does not lock. You have to hold the trigger down or rig something a rig like a zip, a zip tie there or something or a rubber band to hold that to hold that trigger down because this for safety the company is making you hold the trigger down to use it so yeah you have to hold the trigger down to use it and that light is, a, is actually good I like that that it has the LED light in there Ooh, that's getting hot really quick all right let's look at the temperature of that really quick we are going to do a lot more tests on this later today. Now, surprisingly, the, the plastic is not even warm at all. It's not even warm, which is good. It's a good design to, to stay cool. All right, that, that's this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. I do, I, uh, one thing is for sure though, I do have to go right now. I have to go back to uh, James' house and we're gonna do that trim and paint. We're gonna do more testing over there. We're gonna test the crap out of this. All right, 
So, what happened was, is the memory card glitched. All right, so what I did was, is we did a stopwatch. And the a six amp hour battery, as you see it's dead now, was blinking. A six amp hour battery lasted 18 minutes and 50 seconds. But I still want to have a test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a four amp hour battery and test that out and see what this is. I can feel that heat just radiating from that. Remember the, the six amp hour battery lasted 18 minutes and 50 seconds. So we're gonna reset this. There we go. Start that. So, the 4 amp hour battery lasted approximately 14 minutes and 22 seconds. Which, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. As you can see, the battery is dead. And so, yeah, it actually did a good job. And now, once again, just like the 6 amp hour battery, this entire unit is not steaming hot. It's not hot at all. But yeah, you can tell, you can feel that he just radiated. <clears throat> radiated radiating off that that is big but it's getting hot so so yeah this ran for 14 minutes and 22 seconds oh i don't know as you guys know i've been waiting for this heat gun for months since they announced it so uh so yeah i'm actually glad i got it which is perfect timing because uh we're painting right now and we're gonna have to do some patchwork so we're gonna need the heat gun to dry up some patch, to dry up some drywall mud, uh, so we can just sand it and paint it. Which, uh, which yeah, which we're gonna uh, uh, test that out today. Not in this video, but in my next video that I'm uploading May 23rd, it's gonna be a major test what this is capable of doing in every way, shape, and form, because this is my new favorite tool. I love this thing. We're gonna test the crap out of this. So, this has been the unboxing, testing, and reviewing of the Ryobi One Plus heat gun. I hope it was useful information to you. Uh, more testing is in the future, and I just want to remind you guys one more time that we are at $247 out of $350 in the big, huge raffle giveaway uh, for, the, uh, for the gift card. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, watching my videos. This is Dave Nicholas, and I'll see you guys next time.